viewers we all want cars right we all want to buy good cars that car should be adaptable or suitable to our busy lifestyle that car should be easily maneuvered in the city traffic in the busy streets in the urban areas and everywhere so for those bustling people there is a great option to choose from this this italian beauty the 500 would be the best because this is quite affordable comfortable good looking and powerful hello viewers namaste and welcome to vehicle mania i am your host pranav in this video we are going to review this italian beauty very interesting car the fiat 500 500 the fiat company launched the fiat 500 in the name of cinque cento the cinque cento in the year 1957 and after the two years of its launch they launched the sport version of it and years by years they launched new models and unfortunately during the year of 1975 the production was ceased and this fiat 500 or the cinque cento was replaced with the fiat 126 and the fiat 500 was reborn during the year 2007 with its 50th anniversary and this one is the latest model of the fiat 500 this is a fiat 500 and here is the fiat logo and these are the projector headlamps halogen indicators here is the led drls and this is another headlight and here you get the halogen fog lamps that sound of a projector type of design is given and surrounding that there is a chromium finish and here is also a chromium finish given over here and these are the functional air vents that's great something that fiat has done here is a towing hook and these are the grills of the vehicle here is where you keep the number plate and this is the air dam and let's open the engine of the vehicle and you need to click and you need to click a button over here and that's how you open this is a 1.4 liter a uh, four cylinder engine uh, dohc engine that produces 100 horsepower as you can see it is written over here and you don't get hydraulic studs but there is insulation over here and now let's close the engine and these are the wipers of the vehicle and you can see the fiat badging even on the wipers too that's something attention to detail and now let's see the side profile of the vehicle you know the side profile is looks like a small mountain right the design is actually great the length of the vehicle is 3571 the wheel base is 2300 the height of the vehicle is 1488 mm and the width of the vehicle is 1893 these are 16 inch alloy wheels with 500 badging even the in the rims of it then these are the uh, side rear view mirrors finished with uh, graphite matte finish and you can see the sport badging because this is a fiat 500 sport edition and here are the side turn indicators and this is the handle to open the door and see the in, uh, interiors and here is a rear glass for the rear passengers here is the front glass the front glass is actually huge as we have seen in the suzuki jimny you know the uh, length of the door is actually very big here is where you fill the petrol the fuel tank capacity of the vehicle is 35 liters and while coming to the back you can see i felt like it looks like a rolls royce because of the uh, side or what is it the brake lights and the park lights and it's look like a mini rolls royce if someone wants a mini rolls royce and this one is the best in the city and here is the park lights and brake lights together attached over here then you get the halogen indicators and here you can see the 500 badging here is where you keep the number plates and this is a fiat logo these are these uh, rear wipers and here is the rear wa washer and a high mount stop lamp and this is the antenna it's a long antenna not a sharp fin and while here also you can see the rear lights 
and there's a 500 badging i think i said earlier and while looking back there is only one silencer anyways fiat have done a great thing they did not add any uh, fake vents uh, fake silencers or nothing fake exhaust uh, that's something great by fiat and you can see the honeycomb pattern rare mud guards uh, these are actually black uh, plastic and here is a rare reflector and this is the reverse light halogen reverse light halogen indicators and halogen reverse light is actually here I think they could have kept it over here that would have been much more better for safety and here is a uh, towing hook and that's all about at the back it's the design is really simple and beautiful and yeah there's a spoiler too over here and there's a small sunroof not a panoramic sunroof but a normal sunroof over here now let's explore the interiors of the vehicle here is the door handle and when you pull it it opens and while you sit it it's really great and there's a uh, you don't feel that you are sitting in a tiny or small city car here is the steering wheel it's actually great you can control it with your one hand and here is a fiat badging the design is actually type of a concave shape and this is the horn of the vehicle and it's good and here is a attend and decline button uh, and uh, for the calls and here you can adjust the sound system in the infotainment and this is the hazard lights sport mode to activate the, now the sport mode is off and the sport mode connected as this is a sport edition and this is the, for the fog lights switching and on the fog lights here is a temperature controlling button for the AC vents and this is to increase the speed and you can see the speed have increased a lot now let's reduce it and you can see the sound also increased here is also an auto mode for the AC if you click it it will operate on the auto mode and to switch off it you can click here and here is for more cool and here is a sr off uh, i'm not sure about it, what it is and here is a ra uh, rare defogger and here is also another defogger that might be the front defogger and these are for the uh, adjustment of the air vents where it should come and here are the ac vents it's quite nice and uh, the design is great and here is also the ac vents of the co-passenger here is a 500 badging dashboard design is quite great these are hard plastics actually and here is a badging of airbag where is the airbag and this is a six speed gearbox and you can when you press it over here right now it's actually um, in the center you can see this is for the neutral and this is for the reverse and um, when you you can see a slash m a is for automatic mode when you uh, when you press it over here you can see that it change, changed into the manual mode when you change again you can see it changes into automatic mode so in the manual mode you need to shift it continuously and uh, towards the to, you can increase the speed by pulling down and you can decrease the speed by uh, putting uh, pushing it up and this is for the neutral and this is for the reverse there is no parking uh, p for this instead it is actually neutral and here are the uh, switches to open the windows this is for the driver passenger and this is for the co-passenger and while coming to the uh, glow box uh, there is quite amount of good space it's someone's mask over here <laughs> there, uh, there is a great amount of uh, storage space on offer you can store everything in it whatever you have in your hands and uh, these are the paddle shifters as this is a sport edition you need paddle shifters obviously and here are the switches to turn on the headlights and this is for the wipers and uh, you can see the analog is uh, the instrument cluster is quite great it's a digital instrument cluster and you can see when i rev the engine you can see it changes the uh, engine temperature increases and you can see all the dates the date of the uh, the date then the temperature and everything is quite great and you can see a miniature model of the vehicle too digital model and when you open the door and it shows uh, one door open and when you close it it closes on it and while coming to the in, uh, infotainment system you get uh, u connect that is powered by the fiat and there is android auto apple carplay this is an 8 inch touch screen this is how you adjust there is a map everything and 
This is the key of the vehicle. This is to unlock the car. This is to lock the car. This is to open the boot. And you can see a Fiat badging over here. And it's actually very handy to keep it. And when you click this Fiat button, you can close the ignition part of the, the key part. And when you open it, and you can uh, insert it. And when you ignite it, the start is actually very co uh, cool and smooth. You don't know it, it switched on. And after starting the vehicle, when you click this box, you can see the Fiat logo appears at first. And uh, this is some music already there. Uh, that, that, that's some Omani music, I don't know. Uh, the speaker system is quite great for the music lovers. This is another great choice to choose. And here you can see the auto dimming mirrors you get auto dimming mirrors in it uh, the uh, middle rear view mirror and here is the i don't know if yeah you can see it uh, the, to open the sunroof this is a small sunroof actually and uh, to open it you need to click a button over here and it opens the first layer and to open the second layer you need to click this right and you can open it and to close it there's a front button when you click it yeah and you can close the second layer i mean the first layer at this side you get the um, the buttons to control the but uh, side rear view mirrors too now let's sit in the back and see the rear passengers comfortability now let's get into the back here you can open it here is a a hook over here which you, you need to move it front and you can recline the seats by clicking over here by I mean by pulling over here and getting inside is uh, a quite easy for the rear passenger and when you pull it here there is quite space legroom is fine these are the front passengers headrest this is the driver's headrest this is the rear passengers two headrest uh, actually only two people can sit you don't need a uh, passenger uh, rear pa uh, middle passengers seat belt uh, middle passengers headrest for obviously and here is a speaker system so that the rear passenger enjoys the music what is played in the car and here is the seat belt for the driver and for the rear passenger here is the seat belt and for here too the seat belt is there the view towards the outside from the interiors is actually quite great the, even the glasses the glasses are actually smaller you can get a good view of the outside world uh, actually the thigh support could have been much more better because the seats are really small it might be to reduce the space of the vehicle and here you get the cup holders this is the ashtray and even at the front you get the cup holder and the usb port and this is the handbrake of the vehicle now let's check the boot space of the vehicle here is a small button to open it and when you open it you get hydraulic studs in it there's a rare parcel tray in it here are the tools to change your wheels the stepney wheels and here is the stepney wheels these are actually 14 inch not the 16 inch what is offered for the real wheels and this boot space is actually 185 liters you can increase it by folding the seats into 50 is to 50 there's a button over here uh, i don't know i don't know if you can see it here is it it is and when you click it you can fold it into 50 is to 50 oh, yeah wait you can fold it into 50 is to 50 and the boot space enlarges into 550 liters now that's a real really great amount of uh, boot space on offer for a small city car like this from outside we uh, i actually misunderstood this vehicle to be a small and tiny car and i did not even expect this much boot space to be on offer but something that's something really great done by the fiat for the busy peoples in the busy cities in the busy streets right now let's close it uh, yep it's actually really easy to open and close and here we are closing the boot too yeah so here we are driving the fiat 500 sport model the ride is quite nice but uh, the suspension is very stiff as this is a city car 
the front suspension is the macpherson and uh, the rear suspension is the torsion axle with specific calibration the company claims the fiat company claims that this car would go from 0 to 100 within 13.8 seconds 0 to 100 km per hour in 13.8 seconds and the top speed of the vehicle is 162 km per hour this is the instrument cluster of the vehicle so viewers that was all about this Italian beauty hope you like the video if you like please do give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and family also leave your supportive comments and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get all the new days notifications till then see you in the next video it's me Pranav signing out